So, I've just watched Dallas Buyers Club. Fantastic movie. A very uplifting movie and everything else. And, and what jumped out at me watching it was Gerard Leto's acting. Fantastic. Fantastic. What was so good about the film was that... And it wasn't being preachy like you have in these TV shows at the moment. Right? About um, being gay or AIDS or homopho you know, or being a homophobic or what, whatever. It's not preaching about uh, accepting anybody. Right? This was a documentary about a straight guy who was a very homophobic guy, right? Rather punch a, a gay person or whatnot first. Right, and he and it's it's. I mean, talk about timing. Uh, you know, me watching it because uh, Queen Freddie Mercury's uh, coming out. So this is a, a straight guy. He finds out. Uh, so if you haven't watched it, it's probably going to spoil it a wee bit. But I'd recommend still watching it. It's been an old film, so I might as well talk about. It. So it's um, it's a straight guy, uh, very homophobic. Finds out that he has AIDS. Right? Because he sleeps with dirty women. See, it's because most of the people of this foresight thinking that if you've got AIDS, uh, AIDS is a gay disease. It's, it's not. It's because basically in the 70s, everybody was having sex everywhere. Unprotected sex and everything else, right? Uh, poor wee Freddy, he gets diagnosed in the 70s, okay? So he'd been living with this knowledge for some time. So anyway, so he's... But then he comes, you know, he, he doesn't give up, he wants to find a cure. And in the process, um, Gerard Little uh, character comes in, who dresses up as a woman, you know, and is gay. And th strangely enough, they form a friendship because he finds this sort of medicine that's a lot better than uh, what the government has given him. So they, so... Him and Gerard Leto's character, they become best of friends. And he actually sees his old friends, uh, you know, still being the same, still being homophobic. And he fights for them. And it's, and that, that is how you get through to people. Not through constant stuff on TV. Right? Not not on not on here this is the way you should live. Here's a CW, here's some lesbians, here's some um coloured people taking what's normally a white person's role and vice versa. Or uh here's women's lub and everything else. No, this was a true story. Right? A a true story of uh, and people can see how one man struggled to fight against the system. Oh, it's one man who was not really a nice guy to start off with, but through life experience and, and through pushing himself, because he wasn't watching, you know, media, but he stepped forward and he was, and, and he embraced life, he embraced it. He lived every moment to the to the last and he became a better person because of it. Nothing to do with religion. Right? Nothing to do with, you know, with anything. There was, he wasn't getting preached at. He made his own decision to live. And in order to live, he had to make some sacrifices. And then he found out that the, the people that could become his best friends... Uh, some of the people in the gay community. And Gerard Leto's performance in that was superb. And and now I, mean, I am so excited and I'm crossing my fingers that Gerard Leto gets a chance to play Joker again under a new writer, a new direction, because I think he could, he could just be something great. And it's made me want to watch Suicide Squad another time. Uh, it really has. Um, so, so there we go. That's uh, this is my truth, and 
I hope and this is what I want from movies more than TV shows is enough of having to fit it into dramas and, and made up stories or TV shows, right? You don't need that. What you need is true to life stories of how somebody is as bad as this guy was and how he turns his life around by accepting people for who they are without the need of all this some sort of movement or gender by the movies and TV thing. So please, please, let's give Gerard Lell another go. You know, and I, I mean, I don't know what to think about this other Joker movie. Um, you know, he might, this Jacqueline Phoenix may be good at it, but I still want to see more of the Suicide Squad Joker. Well done. DC Vigilante out.